So, we're out here. Yeah. We're going ling fishing tonight. Burbit fishing. It's Yo one pout. beautiful night. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous night, so we're taking advantage of it. It's just a, an evening trip, so probably head her home. Oh, we feel like it. Yeah. We're grown-ass adults. <laughs> Some of us have grown-ass jobs, though. So. Yeah. I'm still off. I'm shut down or whatever, but... And unfortunately, I'm going to have to work tomorrow morning, so... Hopefully yeah. we can get in and get out. Yeah. Catch a uh, 45 ling, a couple pickerel, we'll call it a night. So as you can see, Chase has his favorite accessory tonight. <laughs> Little Barbie! God, my hair's in the way. First Barbie of the night. 44 more to go. Barbie, Barbie! Baby Barb! Barbie number two! Number three. Number four. He's back! <sighs> Number five. Yeah, this one's really small though. I gotta throw him back. Number six. Oh, this one feels better. Oh no. I'm stuck. A little bit bigger. The biggest burb so far, and this is number seven. Tell me the number. Eight. Number nine. Baby burb. Bye, guys. What number? Ten. Is it ten? Yep. Number eleven. Cool colored one. Nice and white ball. Number 12. Got one. Oh. oh. Which uh, number is this? 13. 13. Okay, number 13. 13 burbies. Got them? Thirteen? Fourteen. baby. <laughs> Skinny too. Let him grow. Oh. He's fast. Another little burb. Number 17. 18. 19. I got two out here. Ooh. <laughs> what number is that? 21. Number 22. So we're going to throw the towel in. 22 fish. And he has to work in the morning, so we're going to take off. But it was still a fun night. The weather was awesome. And maybe we'll do poor man's lobster tomorrow night and we'll uh, show you how we do that. All right. Ashley out fished me too, by the way. Yeah, I did good today. I've been I've been on fire lately. I'm I'm a good angler. <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah, you yeah, have been. Hopefully you keep that up. Going out again in two days. I think we're going to try our first two-nighter on the ice. So obviously we'll bring our cameras and we'll uh, show you how that's that's gonna go uh yeah it might be two nights two different lakes mm. hopefully, lake hopping hopefully we do so good at the first one that we have to go to the second one for a different species yeah he's a dreamer my boy caught you didn't i yeah. ashley wants a little video of how to clean a burbot i'm sure a lot of people know how but it is messy if you're gonna do it the slime on these things is 
Actually, this one's not bad. <laughs> they were sitting out on the ice, so he kind of dried up. Hopefully they're all like that. I don't think so, but. They are messy. Pliers help. A board with a big nail that you can slam their head on if you're by yourself. You just use the pliers. Yeah, we usually just use the pliers lately. Just cut the skin. Just slide the knife around. I'm actually going to learn here too. So if you can just cut the skin, try not to cut into the flesh too much. It makes it easier because otherwise they rip. When I'm doing all this, this hand always stays clean. Knife, pliers, this is the gucky hand. That way you always have a clean hand. Grab, just grab the skin. Start it back on the back, on the belly. And if you had the nail on the board, what would you, where would you be? Yeah, so if you what had two pair of pliers, you could slam the a nail through here. And you just And then just grab a, a two pairs of pliers and pull. Okay. So this is a different method. Yeah, this is the do it in your kitchen method. <sighs> Whoa. And that's how you uh, make a mess? Yep. And it's crazy how it comes off the fins. And just like that. It's nice because when they are slimy, it does keep it all inside. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's just our dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> so real life here. From the vent hole back, we just tail it. And that's all bone free. All bone free. Stand it up. It's just like doing a deer or anything. Just do the back straps. See the bones right there. Where those little white spots are, there's like a little Y bone right here is where they connect. So if you just stay above that, it'll keep it from being in that back strap. And the other side, just as followed the same way. <laughs> yeah. Another nice chunk of meat, all boneless. Cause I like to not throw much out. So here's your, those Y bones that come out to the side. Just cut in, stick your fingers in there. There is some bones up here. So yeah, there's another big chunk of meat that a lot of people throw. It's not the thickest stuff, but still meat. And obviously this is a male. Big liver. Big livers. <laughs> Anything in the stomach? No, it's empty. Empty. And that's how you clean a burbot. Good job. And this is where we're gonna make poor man's lobster out of. So we're gonna do up a little bit of poor man's lobster. So it's a really simple recipe. Salt, well obviously water. <laughs> Add however much salt you like. Take an onion or two, just quarter them up. Drop them in there. Two if you're using a bigger pot, I guess, right? And doing yeah. more, we're just doing a little appetizer. A couple bay leaves, throw them in there. All right, once your water boils, throw your fish in in cubes. Butter, add a little garlic, melt that down. We'll put the fish in as soon as it boils. Water's boiling, we'll drop the fish in. So that's roughly how I like to cube them up. Once it's in there, just give it a little stir, make sure they're not stuck together. And you keep it on high, right? Yeah. Once it comes to a boil, again, set a timer for two minutes. Either strain it or you could scoop them out. After. Scoop them out. Even the onions taste unreal. So all you do, strain it out. That's it. Obviously don't eat the bay leaves. You could drizzle the butter or just dunk your pieces. 
Easy peasy.